Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. I'm Dr. Linda Kramer and today I don't like it when my prophecies come true but is this the beginning of my prophecy where I've been saying for months and months that the US governments must do something to stop people voting in November. Now, as you've, if you've been watching my videos, I've been saying September, October, they're going to do something to make people not be able to leave their houses. And look at what's just happened with Hurricane Helena. Now, I am absolutely gobsmacked with what my psychic abilities are telling me. So psychically, here's some information. Sorry, I've got a really itchy nose, hey, this morning. So here we go psychically, okay? Please open your eyes, open your heart, open your third eyes and start looking into what the truth is that's out there. On my Facebook page, Linda Ray is me, and on my Facebook page, here's me on Facebook, Linda Ray, okay? Please go find me. Scroll down to your heart's content, because it is open format, and I share a lot of stuff that I've been finding out in the last couple of days that supports my prophecy that I've been receiving psychically about what's coming. Are you aware two weeks ago, Biden signed off for lithium mining under <laughs> Castle Hill, which has now just been hit in North Carolina. Are you aware that anyone taking food, drink, nappies, diapers, whatever you want to call them, into North Carolina right now and Tennessee, they're all getting their tires slashed and the military is telling them not to enter the zone. Are you aware that possibly the Biden administration, possibly, allegedly, has just put up a no-fly zone around the devastation, devastated areas so people can't use their own private airplanes to land with water supplies and other necessities for those on the ground. Are you aware that possibly the Biden administration has just called in bulldozers to flatten the whole area when we still have missing people and children in the rubble? Are you aware, finally, is it true that Biden just signed off and gave everyone affected a $750 check when they've just lost their house, their livelihood, and possibly their families. Are you aware, possibly, that Biden just signed off on a new war aid? Now, remember, he put the war, the war aid bill through the, oh my God, that went through about two months ago. Are you aware that he just signed off $175 billion for Ukraine? So I hope that those $750 checks goes a long way because the way water is going up at this point, you may only get one bottle of water for your $750 check. I am totally godsmacked beyond what I can possibly fathom here into what is going on with these people in charge. How can they lack compassion for their own people, their own voters? Oh, that's right. We won't go into the immigration crisis, will we? Because they can still vote for the people who brought them into the country. Oh my gosh, my heart and my prayers go out to the US at this point. I've said it before and I'll say it again. They're going to keep doing things, hammer, hammer, hammer down through September and now we're into October so people can't vote. I've been saying this for six months. Please look within yourself. Look within your psyche. Look within your intelligence 
use your third eye and really ask yourself do you want to support what is now happening because if you support what is now happening you get in it for another four years and it's going to be worse i'm not a trump supporter i'm not a harris supporter but things are going to escalate extremely fast if harris gets in world war three is imminent think about where your vote goes because right now every vote counts america if you're in other parts of the planet please look into your heart send out that emotion from your core of love compassion and most of all peace to all these in charge so then they look after their own instead of supporting other countries with billions of dollars again enough said from me today hope i've given you something to think about take care wherever you are on the planet because it's escalating everywhere europe is going nuts middle east is going nuts and now the americas going nuts and it's all what i prophesized when i said the northern hemisphere will be a war zone i've been saying it for 20 years and now i hope and pray this starts to subside and go away but i can't see it so stay safe wherever you are guys i love you all and i'll talk to you all soon bye